All right, so I wanna show you how to use uh, a whiteboard app. And there's a lot out there, some are paid, some are free. I'm gonna show you IPVO just cause it's free. Um, it's I-P-E-V-O, you can just get in the app store. And once you open it up, so there's a couple of different options in here. First thing I'll show you is up here, you can choose what color you wanna write in, change the size of your pen. Um, down here, uh, you can record. So this would be helpful for, this is how you would record the lesson. So if I write anything on here, um, it's going to, so if I'm making a math problem, it's recording it right now. And when I'm done, oops, um, it will save to my camera roll. So when I press stop down here, it saved automatically to my camera roll, and that way uh, students can see my writing. I can save that as a video. I can also hit this green button right here, and that saves the image. And then let's say I wanna take a picture of something. So um, up here in the top, this camera button will allow a light to access the camera. So let's say I took a picture of this book. And I might wanna add that to my board. And even that, I can just write right on whatever it is. So let's say I didn't like that writing. Uh, there's the trash button up here and I can clear that. Also down at the bottom, it says what slide number you're on. So if I wanna go back to my first slide or see my second slide, that's how it works. Or let's say I wanna add an image. So I showed you how to take a picture. Let's say I wanna add an image. Down here by the two out of two, if I click on the image and the plus, and I can do a plain white background, so I want just a new slide, or I can get an image from my photo library. So like in here, um, I had a graph. So if I do a graph right there, then I can write right on my graph. So I can, you know, show, uh, you know, I can write right on there, go to my next slide. Um, once again, to go to the next slide, I hit down here the um, arrow button to the right, arrow button to the left, I can go back through my slides. And once again, that would be recorded as I explained it uh, using the button, um, this button down here. And once again, it records, I can pause, or I can just stop the recording. Um, and once again, up here, some more tools, um, I can um, hit the eraser. If I made a mistake, I just erase. Or if I just wanna uh, get rid of the whole slide, I can clear everything on this slide. So that's how IPVO works. Um, that's a, you know, I know there's fancier ones out there, there's things you can do more, but this is a good start if you're looking to do a whiteboard and um, save it. So I have the video, um, once again, I can go either drive or classroom. So I went up to drive, I can press plus, uh, upload, I can get photos, um, I need to allow it, and I can find my drawing, uh, or sorry, from IPVO, so it's, uh, like I could grab the 22nd one and I can upload it or uh, here, I can actually drop it right in the classroom. So if I go to classroom, I can say, you know, please see the, all right. And then I go up here to the uh, paperclip, um, pick a photo from, and even though it's a video, it says photo. So if I grabbed that, or so, so if I want to see, see. So once again, you can see my math. I press use, and then it drops it right into Classroom. So hit send. And there it is, it's in my classroom. I didn't have to airdrop it or some of that stuff. So once again, you could go drive, uh, you could go um, right into classroom, but that's how you record something in IPVO and then put it right into classroom. So that's how, once again, I use IPVO. You could use, there's a number of whiteboard apps, but that's how you take it, save it to your files and then drop it in classroom or drive.